Well, it's uh, about 4.30, actually 4.30 right on the button. Um, January 7th, uh, 2020. I think that's the first time we've really said that. Uh, um, we're trying something new tonight. Um, we're gonna try feeding hay along here. Um, just to let you know where we're at, there's the shop. Here's the starty calves. Um, I came up with this idea or thought the other day. Um, I've not, I haven't been getting very good use out of my bedding in the barn. So instead of feeding um, these guys in the barn, I got this basically a feed bunk that was actually poured here it's been here i did run cattle on here before but i made the decision um because there's a pasture i made the decision to i'm not going to run cattle in here anymore just because it makes too much of a mess with the runoff running down here so since i'm not going to use this for cattle anymore I cleaned the manure out up along there, moved it over here. I gotta scrape this down a little better. This is manure is gonna get hauled out. It's gotta get hauled out soon. Um, but there's 48 foot uh, basically feed bunk here. And I'm gonna start feeding them hay along here. Tonight I'm gonna give them a bale of sorghum and a bale of baleage along here. Uh, not happy with me because last night I didn't feed them. I made them clean up what they had. Um, that way I don't have this big a mess to clean up in the barn. So I'm not gonna. I plan on not feeding them hay in the barn anymore like I was. I'm gonna do the same thing. It's just gonna be out here. So uh, I'm hoping I got the height right there. It's good for the the feeder cattle. It seems the height seems about right, but the fats. Seems a little low, but uh, there's only two head of fats in there, so I don't. I think they can live with it. They're not going to be here much longer, anyways. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm uh, about. I got the Kubota running. I got to scrape down a little more, and we're about to go get a bale and see how it works. I don't see a problem with it. If this works pretty good, I might actually start feeding them grain out here as well. But that's uh, that's to be seen yet. We'll see how that works and everything. So I might have to. These are just. I actually had two by six boards all the way down. These are just two by sixes. I might have to put a heavier either board there or I have another idea. Um, if they end up breaking them, I think the fats are going to be like. There's one that's going to be the ones that are going to really be pushing on it. But it's all sloped this way to drain away anyways. Um, that side is lower. Um, this way I can get them scraped out and keep them cleaner, I'm hoping. Um, kind of the problem I'm having, I've never had this many cattle in that, in that wing before. So that's kind of the reason why. Um, I'm doing this and I'm changing things over. Eventually, if I switch the barn over to a transition barn, this is gonna get used anyways um, for fat cattle. So I will have to raise that board up, but uh, it'll strictly be for fats. And I'll get the manure barn cleaned out and I'm gonna use that for shelter for them. Um, that's the future plans. But for right now, I think this might work. But uh, we're about to find out. So we'll uh, get a bale in here and then I'll uh, we'll take a look at it. So see what happens. Well, here it is. Fed a bale of sorghum and a bale of, I'm going to call it half baleage, half dry hay. Um, 
this stuff right here. What it is is uh yeah, pretty dry this bale was. Um what it was is supposed to be dry hay, but we had rain coming and it was real thick. There's a decent amount of green spots in it. So what I did is build it anyways and wrapped it. And um which I'm glad I did, I guess, because otherwise it would have got rained on. This way it's still decent hay. It didn't get rained on it, even though it's not, um, not completely fermented. But sorghum looks pretty good. I fed that first. There's a bale of sorghum underneath all this, I guess we can call it dry hay. Um, they came, they figured it out quick. The sorghum this is the stuff that uh, I thought was gonna be fairly dry but turned out to be have some moisture in it so they all seem to fit about perfect there's 26 head here and I sorted a few smaller ones and put them on the other side but hopefully this will uh, this will work, help save some bedding, and um, I, I'm gonna, as of right now, feed them grain in the barn. They go in the barn right there. I'm gonna feed them grain in the barn, but uh, yeah, there's 26 of them here. They all should be here. I would say about perfect if I wanted to squeeze them I probably could get another four in there but uh, pretty happy with it as of right now we'll see how it goes I am going to close that gate and that one in case they get out they can't get out um, even if they get through that gate that's pasture there's at least hot wire up it's not on but it can be turned on very easily so yeah that's a good sound all of them just munching i do have to go in and feed grain yet and do the rest of the chores but um I like the way it looks right now. Um, I didn't do a bale count. I did. I told you next video I make a, will be a bale count video, but I didn't do that. I still think I'm right around that bale a day. Um, and then that'll go down when I get into feeding more dry hay. So feeding sorghum or baleage right now. and. I'll feed the bailers till it's all, all burnt up. As I start getting noticed less and less bailage, I'm running out of bailage, I'll start mixing more dry hay to stretch it. I usually like to feed enough bailage or have enough bailage to take me to um, the time I sell, which is normally end of April, 1st of May. Basically, all of these will be gone. I'll keep anywhere from five to seven for fats. The rest of them will go. One's over there, there's, I forget how many are over there now, 13 maybe, 11 or 13, I can't quite remember. I keep moving them around, so sorting them. I keep forgetting how many I got in each pen, but them will all be gone too. Only thing I will have through the summer is the starty calves, 18 of them. Um, the plan is hopefully to buy another 20 head of starty calves in the spring and hopefully raise up 15, at least 15 bottle calves. Probably, I'm thinking maybe starting in February, February or March, start getting some bottle calves. So that should put me, if, if everything goes as planned, that should put me with... Uh, Let's see here, 20, 
plus 18, be 38, and uh, depending on how many bottle calves I raised up. Um, about probably 55 head of feeders, and then five to seven head of uh, fat cattle. So I'll still have about 60 head through the um, through the summer. But that all depends on uh, if the people I have plans with them raising starty calves for me, if they come through and end up doing it. I'm really hoping they do again. If not, maybe I'll look elsewhere for some, but. Yeah, looks good. Um, only thing that would make it better is it be a TMR, but works right now. I'll, uh, we're losing light fast, I see, so. I better go in and finish up chores and uh, go in the house and eat some dinner, so. Uh, yeah, everything works good, and uh, I'll try and get a bail count, and do uh, try and get a good idea of feed usage, and then we'll go from there for as far as buying cattle. I think we should be should be pretty good. Not really too worried about it. So, alrighty, we'll uh, talk to you guys later.